As usual, the real action for our nation's lawmakers was happening outside of Washington. Last weekend, the Democratic National Committee's winter meeting, where the main event was the quadrennial running of the hopefuls. All ten presidential wannabes spoke, with many unveiling their new campaign songs. First up. Our friend, John Edwards. <laughs> Yeah, Mellencamp, a little safe. General Wesley Clark. No, I won't back down. Ooh, I thought he would have gone a little military, uh, more military, a little less drug-addled country. But all right, all right. Who's next? Senator Barack Obama. That's a little on the nose. Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton. My milkshake brings all the girls to God and their life. It's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a misstep. <laughs> Every candidate went with a recognizable middle of the road campaign song, except for one man little known Democratic Connecticut Senator Chris Dodd. You haven't heard of me, but I'm Chris Dodd. That's Chris Dodd. Chris Dodd is my name. ba do ba da ba squo bo ba do ba da squeeze wow ba do bo bo dwee Hey, man, that is a catchy tune. That'd make a great slogan. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, you laugh, but that is his slogan. All right. As this is the Democratic Party, the next stage of the competition, the all-important candidate, Humble Off. I grew up in a middle-class family in the middle of America. Eh. <laughs> Not so humble. I can remember as a young kid answering the back door as the bill collector stood there about to turn off electricity. I'm intrigued. <laughs> now, my parents never owned a home. We were renters. We lived in 21 different places, including a couple cars. And now I just feel a little sad. Shortly after I was born, my birth mother handed me over to nuns in a Catholic orphanage. I believe we have a winner. I didn't know my birth mother, and I didn't know my birth father. OK, we have a winner. It's a... I was a child left behind. I was born an outsider. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> my adopted mom was one of the great and most amazing people in my life. She was an alcoholic, and she was addicted to prescription drugs. Make it stop! Make it stop! All of this, by the way, a huge departure. All of this a huge departure from 2004 when John Kerry appeared before the group to deliver his famous I have a castle speech. <laughs> but above all, the candidates would have to show that they had a plan for victory. I'm calling on you to hope. All right, I hope you've got more of a plan than that. I know how they think, how they act, and how to defeat them. Are you running for president or repelling an alien invasion? <laughs> As president, I'm going to finish the job that Harry Truman started in 1948. Vote Chris Dodd for president. He will unite Korea. We'll be right back. <laughs>